Hi, my name's Claire and I'm from Bristol Mind. This video is really about sharing some essential tips with you to help manage your anxiety or stress and worries uh, where it's scary, we're not sure what's going to happen next and that can make anyone feel very anxious. But why do we feel like this? In essence, it's really about the concept of feeling out of control. We tend to spend most of our lives creating a world which we can kind of control. For example, having routines, knowing pretty much where we are from week to week, and that makes us feel safe. And at the moment, with everything that's happening, it is a time of uncertainty and no one is really sure which way it's going to go. So let's think for a moment. What can we actually control? So we can control how we think about uh, situations. We can control what we do, for example, social distancing and keeping our hands washed clean. We can also control how much news we're watching and how much social media we're taking in. I think for anyone, it's time now to understand that there are things you simply cannot control. For example, what is actually happening in the, in the world is something that is out of our control. We can't control other people's opinions and attitudes and maybe what they're doing. So you might hear of other people going out and doing other things when actually we should all be staying at home. Again, it's time to let those feelings go. Um, a really simple concept for managing stress is something that we call the three A's of stress management. The first A is about awareness. It's bringing awareness to how you're feeling. So what are you thinking about? and bringing that awareness to the present moment. The second A is for acceptance. It's accepting what's happening to us. Yes, it's scary, and we're not really sure which way things are going to go, but you have to be able to accept that feeling and not run from it. The third A is taking action. This is what this video is about, and I'm now gonna tell you my top tips for taking action to manage those feelings of fear and anxiety. So my first tip is movement. Okay, so we all know that exercise is good for us. It releases endorphins and makes us feel good. But actually changing your posture and the way you're sitting also can have quite a big effect. So if you're at home working from home, which a lot of us are, remember to move and actually change how you're sitting, get outside, take that 20 minutes, 30 minutes stroll on a daily basis. It really is that important. Also, when you're out and about on a daily walk, remember just to look up, avert your eyes upwards. What happens by doing that is we open up a part of the brain, we just feel more creative and that actually can make us feel happier and more content. Being out in nature is proven by science to reduce stress. The patterns we see in nature, the trees and the beauty of woods, etc., actually can make us feel calmer. My second tip is become more present. What happens when we're racing into the future is it is anxiety inducing. If you're constantly going forward into what may or may not happen, it starts the fight or flight response, which is a natural way of making us feel to, to protect ourselves from any threats. If you root yourself more in the present moment, then you will feel that you're what scientists call in the flow. So people that do a lot of music, people that are dancing, anything that roots you in the present moment is so beneficial. So one tip here is learn how to breathe mindfully. There's many YouTube videos about this, but it's really important to understand how most of us breathe higher in the chest and actually to move that further down. In yoga, it's called belly breathing. It's using the diaphragm. In essence, it's about slowing your breathing down. This roots you in the present moment. My third tip is about connecting. So this is, often people assume this is connecting with friends. 
And obviously we're now in a situation where we are social distancing. So to use technology to connect through Zoom or WhatsApp or through FaceTime is great. Making phone call, speaking to someone, writing that letter is also really important. Connections increase oxytocin, which is the feel-good hormone and actually is really beneficial for mood and helping us manage stress better. More than that though, connecting with yourself is also key. So spending a bit of time in solitude, if you can, if you, like me, have a busy life with children, it's not always that easy, but taking 10 minutes out in the morning to have some present time in the present moment to relax and unwind is key. My fourth tip is about your mind. Tune in to what you're thinking about and just keep an eye on those thoughts. It's really easy to get drenched in negative thinking at this point. The news is full of it. It is quite scary. There is a lot happening in the world that is out of our control. But remember what we talked about earlier. When you think about control, you can only control how you think about something, not actually what is happening. So we must get some perspective look at the facts, but also realize that a lot of the reporting is the negative news. There are other stories of communities growing, positive news, people recovering, and people doing amazing things. So focus on that. Our minds are very powerful and will keep us thinking negatively unless we become aware of it. It's about balance, not about thinking positively about everything. That doesn't work either. It's just having an idea of where your mind is going. So keep an eye on it and tune in every day and just realize that actually our thoughts are what create our actions, our moods and our behaviors. So they really are at the forefront of everything. Finally, my fifth tip is to find some meaning in all of this. And this will really help with your stress levels and it will give you a bit of purpose. It's not to sound twee, but if you can find some sort of meaning whereby you can use maybe this time at home more effectively, maybe connecting with your family when actually most of us don't always have that time to do so, maybe picking up old hobbies we've forgotten, like music, drawing, um, learning a new hobby, sewing, anything like that getting back into cooking, getting fit. All these things give us meaning and purpose and are very beneficial in these difficult and uncertain times. If you needed to speak to somebody urgently, then you can call the Samaritans any time, day or night on 116 123. Remember to stay well and stay safe. Follow the government guidelines on social distancing and staying at home. Thank you for watching this video.